this is not a video that I really want to make. I uh, I got a, a Skype last night, letting me know that uh, uh, Angry Harry has died, and uh, a lot of people they don't really give him credit that he's due. And uh, I think what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a short video that uh, that could probably explain a little bit, maybe to his, his wife and I guess daughter. I don't really know if the people in, in Harry's family are really aware of just what he did and uh, how valuable of a human being uh, Harry really was. Uh, he, he's spoken of a lot as the father of the modern men's movement, but uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that Harry was uh, instrumental in shaping the tone of the men's movement that you see today. Um, I guess I, if you go way back, way, 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 way back um, when I first sort of met Harry, and, and please forgive me, I don't actually know Angry Harry's full or real name. I don't know much about his family, but I've had dealings with him uh, on the internet at least, at least a dozen years, probably longer than that. In the beginning of the men's movement, there was not a whole lot of us. There was call it a couple dozen maybe of the guys that were really, you know, kind of making waves and splashes and all the rest of that. And Harry was one of those guys, but Harry was a very unique man. He has, um, as anybody who's had any interaction with him would know, a very mellow sort of outlook or a very mellow sort of way of, of saying things. But Harry did a lot for questioning and a lot for Making people flesh out their ideas. Um, the men's movement started out, or it really, it started out as a bunch of really angry men uh, who were mad at um, primarily divorce court and all of the injustices that, that come along with that. And then uh, as, as the men involved started to commiserate, they, they realized there's way more than just that that's going on. There's all sorts of discriminations and whatnot. And... Um, Harry was probably the first person to actually say, listen, uh, there's nothing going to get changed. This, this, whole, this whole thing that you're fighting, all of it was put in place on purpose by the people that are in power. So until you actually have the power or the money to get rid of these people, a.k.a. never, um, lobbying the government or petitioning for social change isn't going to work. Now, up until that point, it doesn't sound like it's a really crazy notion, but up until that point, that's exactly what everybody was doing. We all figured that all we had to do is bring this stuff to the attention of feminists and government officials everywhere, and they would go, oh, I'm so sorry, we missed you guys. Uh, here, let's fix it. And uh, Harry was uh, among a very few people that were actually... Um, they kind of laughed at that. Harry shaped the men's movement as it is. Not just the men's rights movement either. Harry shaped basically the whole manosphere. Harry taught people to question. He showed connections that people weren't really making. Um, he would, especially in relation to Harriet Herman, uh, could do an absolutely wicked job of showing exactly how everything is connected. And he would do it in a way that made you question your way to the same conclusions that he reached. I imagine, uh, I don't know what Harry did, but if, if Harry was a professor, he was probably a very good professor. Um, and I just wanted to say to Harry's wife and, and child, if, if they ever get a chance to see this, that... Um, Really, the whole world owes Harry Bing. Certainly men, certainly uh, anybody involved in the manosphere and the men's movement, anybody who's 
trying to do anything positive for men. Uh, Harry, what, what's going on right now would not be happening without Harry. It would be nowhere near as cohesive or as focused, which it isn't terribly, but it is more than it would be. And um, the world is a, a poorer place for not having Harry around anymore. And I, I want everybody to know about Harry, um, just simply because, well, without him, the whole thing wouldn't exist.